In the annals of literature, few works loom as large or provoke as much introspection as Fyodor Dostoevsky's masterwork, Crime and Punishment. Journey with us into the labyrinth and depths of the human psyche as we unravel the threads of guilt, redemption, and existential crisis woven throughout this timeless classic. Before delving into the heart of crime and punishment, it's essential to understand the man behind the words, Fyodor Dostoevsky. Born in 1821 in Moscow, Dostoevsky endured a tumultuous life marked by personal tragedies, brushes with death, and political upheaval. His experiences, including a mock execution and years of Siberian exile, infused his writing with a raw authenticity that continues to resonate with readers centuries later. Set against the gritty backdrop of 19th century St. Petersburg, Crime and Punishment introduces us to Radam Raskolnikov, a destitute former student, consumed by his own radical theories of morality and power. Desperate and disillusioned, Raskolnikov hatches a plan to commit the ultimate crime, the murder of a pawnbroker, he views as morally bankrupt. But as the deed is done, he plunges into a harrowing spiral of guilt and paranoia. At the heart of crime and punishment are characters whose lives intersect in unexpected and profound ways. Sonia, the virtuous prostitute whose unwavering faith offers a glimmer of hope in Raskolnikov's dark world. Porfiry Petrovich, the shrewd investigator determined to unravel the mystery behind the pawnbroker's murder. And Raskolnikov himself, a tortured soul grappling with the consequences of his actions. Let's journey through the story of crime and punishment, step by step, making it easy to follow. Meet Rodian Raskolnikov, a poor ex-student living in St. Petersburg. He's smart, but troubled, and he's convinced himself that he's above normal morality. He hatches a plan to kill a pawnbroker, thinking he's doing society a favor and proving his theory about exceptional people. But the plan goes wrong and he ends up killing her and her sister too. After committing the crime, Raskolnikov is consumed by guilt and fear. He tries to act normal, but he's tormented by what he's done. He starts to unravel mentally. People start to suspect Raskolnikov, especially the clever detective Porfiry Petrovich. Raskolnikov's behavior becomes increasingly erratic as he struggles to keep his secret. Then, Raskolnikov meets Sonia, a kind-hearted prostitute, who tries to help him. She encourages him to confess and seek redemption. Through her, he begins to see the possibility of forgiveness. Raskolnikov finally confesses his crime to Sonia and to the authorities. He's sentenced to exile in Siberia, but he's strangely relieved. In Siberia, Raskolnikov begins to find peace. He's still haunted by his past, but he starts to understand the value of human connection and compassion. Sonia remains by his side, offering him hope and redemption. The story ends with Raskolnikov's gradual transformation from a proud and troubled young man to someone humbled by his experiences. He learns that true strength comes from facing the consequences of our actions and seeking forgiveness. The major themes in Fyodor Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment are deeply philosophical and psychological, reflecting on the nature of morality, society, and the human psyche. Here are some of the central themes. The protagonist, Raskolnikov, is isolated from society due to his pride and sense of superiority. His alienation intensifies after committing the murders leading to a cycle of guilt and self-imposed solitude. The novel delves into the mental anguish and moral dilemmas faced by Raskolnikov, focusing on his internal struggle, no one other than the legal consequences of his actions. Raskolnikov's belief in being a superman above moral laws drives his actions, 
and justifies his crimes in his own mind, challenging the societal norms of morality. The story explores the relationship between criminality and morality, questioning the nature of guilt and the justification of crimes based on societal impact. Raskolnikov's mental state is a key focus, with his erratic behavior and delirium raising questions about sanity and the effects of guilt on the mind. The novel presents a complex interplay between coincidences and the character's actions, probing the extent of free will and predestination. Raskolnikov's dire financial situation and his attitudes towards money reflect the broader social issues of poverty and wealth distribution. The dynamics within Raskolnikov's family and his relationships with other characters underscore the importance of familial bonds and the sacrifices made for loved ones. And so, as we close the book on crime and punishment, we're reminded that even in the darkest of times, there's always hope for redemption. It's a story that challenges us to confront our own moral choices and reminds us of the power of forgiveness.